Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about how to speed up any iOS device out there. And in this case, um, I have an iPhone 6 running iOS 11. Um, the first release, 11.0 basically. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter what firmware you're on. Uh, basically it works on every single firmware, even like if you're on iOS 10 for example or 9. So yeah, to start up, um, first thing you can do is to um, open the general settings and then scroll all the way down to Safari and clear Safari's cache. To do that, basically you should click on clear history and website data. If you do that, actually, um, yeah, Safari's history and cache, cache basically is gonna be cleared and this is gonna contribute to a faster phone actually, not just Safari itself. Another thing you can do is uh, prevent automatic updates in iTunes app stores. So uh, you search for the iTunes app store in settings and uh, I turned it off already here. Basically, usually on phones, the update is green and it's turned on. What I did, what I do basically is I turn it off. It's, it says it automatic downloads. So usually I just keep it off because uh, and I update the apps manually when I'm charging the phone at night. So it does not only uh, speed up the phone, but also it actually contributes to uh, like more battery life, like less battery consumption, which is important, especially now with iOS 11, the battery drainage is like insane. So it's draining more battery. Another thing you can do, um, or like you should be doing already, is closing all the apps and app switcher. So yeah, this is an important thing because it clears down, clears up the RAM of the apps running in the background. And uh, speaking of RAM, you can click down on the power button until you get the slight power off the, uh, option uh, but instead of powering off you just click down the home button until uh, the screen disappears and what this does basically is that it clears the RAM entirely of the device so yeah if you want to do a Geekbench test for example it's the best to do it after cleaning the RAM so yeah that's another thing another thing you can do with actually I'm not really a fan of is to actually reduce the motions of the device here in general um, you've got this accessibility here um, reduce motion sorry just click reduce motion just enable it yeah and then we've got this other thing called autoplay message effects what this does basically is that it actually opens like for example let's say you got a like an anime firework animation from a friend of yours on a iMessage. To be honest, it doesn't really drain much of the battery, but uh, if you want to do it, then go ahead. Yeah, but then the phone now will feel like it has no animations. It won't feel like it actually does have no animations. The phone will feel faster because it's actually opening apps immediately. But mm, like you feel like it's on an iPhone. Just because, you know, like, you don't really feel like it, but it really feels faster. Except for one thing, the app switcher feels slower here. You can't really do this fast navigating thing because, I don't even know what it did. Oh, yeah. For, for example, you can't really scroll between them super fast. I'm going to show you now without reduced motions. For instance, for example, here, you have this thing to actually navigate super fast, which is not available in reduced motions. Now, without reduced motion, actually, the phone still feels fast. You still get this nice effect of the iOS. Another thing you can do is to clear the uh, cache in some apps like iTunes, for example. If you click down on the music here 10 times, uh, the app's cache is going to be cleared. Back in iOS 10, you were capable of doing that as well in the App Store, but they actually removed this option. So yeah, sadly, now you can't really do it. Not even 20 times, sadly. Uh, another thing which is really important and you should really consider doing is to delete all the unnecessary apps on your phone like for example if you apps and photos and videos try to like e upload the videos on iCloud or something and delete them from the phone because it really really helps you speed up your device and you're gonna have more storage and you're gonna feel more relaxed like having extra gigs and there's, op there's this option now in iOS 11 offload and used apps like it says that I can get up to 6.31 6 gigs if I actually do it and really it's really good um, but usually here this iPhone thing the bar here shows you like separated parts in different colors saying yeah exactly so it takes some time to actually appear it says like how much how much storage being like uh, consumed by the apps photos media and messages mm, yeah so yeah the biggest portion is like apps so yeah 
Another thing you can do, and not on a daily basis, but like at least once a week, is to actually turn off the device and then back on. It really helps, but just once in a while. Um, yeah. So yeah, guys, that was everything, and uh, hope you like the video. Subscribe for more content.